back to our channel. Today we're going to be reading Barbie's Soccer Coach. You've got the look, Barbie, exclaimed Scovola. Barbie turned, posed, and smiled for Scovola's camera. Click, click. That was lovely, Barbie, agreed Jessica, editor of Here Comes the Bride ma magazine. Scovula handed his camera to an assistant. It's always a pleasure to work with you, Barbie, he said. Well, said Barbie, I have to run. I don't want to be late for my tigers. Tigers, said Scovula at the zoo. Barbie laughed. No, I'm the coach of a girl soccer team called the Tigers. Tomorrow is a big game against the Bears. If we win, I'm surprising my team with a victory party on the beach. Barbie waved goodbye to Scovola and Jessica from her convertible. Convertible. Good luck, Coach Barbie, shouted Scovola. It's going to take a lot more than luck to beat the bears. Barbie thought to herself as she drove away. When Barbie arrived on the soccer field, the tigers were warming up. Before we start practice, I want to tell you to, to play your best tomorrow, she said, and always be a good sport. What if we lose the game, asked Alexis. It doesn't matter, Barbie replied. What's important is how you play the game. And don't forget to have fun. Skipper and Alexis pra practiced passing the ball. I really want to beat those bears tomorrow, Alexis told Skipper. Don't worry, we will, answered Skipper. She kicked the ball to Courtney. Good kick, Barbie called to her little sister. Finally, it was the morning of the big game. Go Tigers, go, shouted the Tiger fans. The referee blowed the whistle and the game began. Courtney got the ball and passed it to Skipper. She passed it to Alexis who kicked it into the bear's net, into the bear net of a goal. The Tigers had the lead. Way to go Tigers, shouted the fans. Soon a bear player named Stephanie had control of the ball. She took it down at the she took it down the field and kicked it right past the tiger goalie. Great shot, shouted the bear coach. The score was now tied at one to one. The game continued. Skipper ran up the field dribbling the ball as Coach Barbie watched Stephanie jam her elbow into Courtney's side. Ow, said Courtney, that hurt. Later in the game, Alexis was passing the ball to a teammate when Stephanie pushed her from behind. Alexis fell flat. What are you doing, asked Alexis angrily. Oh, sorry, said Stephanie with a laugh. Maybe next time you'll learn to stay out of my way. At halftime, Barbie was surrounded by her team. Coach, the Bears are playing a dirty game, cried Alexis. If we want to win, we should play that way too. We're going to play a good, clean game, replied Barbie. If we, if we play dirty and win, then we'll, we'll, still, we'll still lose it. Barbie turned to the referee. It's really getting rough out there, she said. The referee blew the whist his whistle. This is a warning, he told the bears. Play clean or I'll, foul I'll call you a foul. No one heard the bear coach say it to his team. Do whatever it takes to win this game. Win, win, win. 
At the beginning of the second half, Skipper got control of the ball and took it down the field. A bear player named Donna stuck out her foot and tripped her. Barbie ran onto the field. Are you okay, Skipper? She asked. My ankle hurts, answered Skipper. Foul against the bear, shouted the referee. Free kick for the Tigers. Courtney kicked the ball as hard as she could, but the bear goalie blocked the shot and sent the ball sailing back onto the field. The score remained tied at 1-1. One to one. Alexis was angry when she heard that Skipper was out for the rest of the game with a twisted ankle. I don't care what Barbie says, she thought. The Bears hurt my friend on purpose. I'm going to play just like them. With only a minute left in the game, the score was still tied 1-1. One one. Alexis ran down the field next to Donna. Qu quickly, Alexis elbowed Donna, but the referee saw her. Foul, he shouted. The Bears got a free kick. Barbie called a timeout and mo Ocean. motioned for Alexis to come over. Alexis, I want you to sit on the bench until you calm down, she said. With only a few seconds left in the game, Stephanie scored the winning goal for the Bears. Oh no, thought Alexis, but not playing fair. Fairly, I lost the big game for my team. We won, we won, shouted the Bears. They lifted Stephanie high in the air. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you, Coach Barbie, said Alexis sadly. Just because some people are unsportsmanlike doesn't mean I should be too. It's all right, Barbie said. If our team learned that that lesson today, then we're all winners. The next day, Barbie took her team to the beach. She was surprised to see Scovula set, setting up a, fo a photo shoot. Congratulations, Coach Barbie, says Shavala. So your Tigers won the big game? Actually, we lost the game, Barbie replied, but we're celebrating because my Tigers learned a hard lesson. To be a real winner, you must play fairly. After all, it's not wherever you win or lose, but how you play the game. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Barbie Soccer Coach. And stay tuned for more book reads coming your way. Happy holidays. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Goodbye, guys.